you need to say this is, uh, I'm just going to run through some of the electronic security solutions that we are offering now in security. In security, I'm sure we, we always strive to bring in innovative and creative solutions to our security problem as a nation and beyond the borders. So I'll start with the alarm systems that we, we are currently installing. We've got standalone alarms whereby one can just have a standalone alarm if there's an intrusion, uh, a siren rings off and it wakes up everyone and I'm sure the burglars will, will be thieves will run away. But bent to the alarms, we also offer what we call rapid response or rapid reaction whereby from our state of the art control room if there's an intrusion, we are able to tell in real time there and then which part of the house has been, um, has been um, violated and then we can then send a rapid reaction team within about five to six minutes, we then respond accordingly. So these are the alarms that we have. Beyond the internal alarms, we are now also offering what we do. We have this rapid response team close to my house. How do I know that we have a response team close to my house? What we do is that we strategically position our rapid response vehicle depending on where our customers are. Our, our promise to our customers is that within six minutes, the rapid reaction team would be by your home. So they are centrally located. They stand in locks. I'm sure you've seen our vehicles yes. stationed in certain oh. areas in the city. I thought they were just resting. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they are not resting. They are waiting for any signals to come through. Okay. The signals will come through in real time from our control room, and then we are able to instantly dispatch a team to come and check your premises. With the technology that we are now using, we are then knowing which part of the house has been violated. So they just don't go blindly in reaction, they will go to the specific part where we know that the alarm has been triggered. Maybe so, still on that part, mm, let's say it's been a false trigger. Mm, Do I get charged when they come and see that it's, it has been a false trigger alarm? When it's a false trigger, we've got a, a procedure that we follow. Okay. When we install an alarm at your house, we give you a certain code. Okay. So when we receive the signal from our control room, we call you first. You give us a number of people that we can call. Let's say you're out of the country and your phone is no, it's not going through. Maybe we can call your wife or your oh, daughter okay. or anybody at the house. So we'll call that and then we'll ask for the code. If you say it wrongly, then it means that you're under duress. So we'll then instantly send the reaction team. But if we call and you give us the correct code, we we'll don't know probably maybe it's the kids playing, etc, etc. But we'll ask definitely if everything is okay. If it's not okay, but beyond that, we also, within the alarm system, we call, we have what we call a panic button. If you press the panic button, we don't call, we just instantly send. Because we know that to press that panic button, it means you probably have hit something and we then instantly send a rapid reaction team. So that's the alarms. Beyond this, we now also offer what we call video fight alarms that send a 10 second signal. So we are able to see from our control room what's triggering the alarm. So let's say they are armed within liaise with the police. The advantage of a video alarm is that we are able to respond uh, accordingly or, you know, knowing exactly what we'll be fighting against. That's the advantage of a, of a video fight alarm system. Mm, and beyond internal, we are also installing what we call external uh, alarm system, whereby just before the people get to your house, we are able to detect, as soon as they jump into the yard, we then detect that they are moving. And we know exactly where the ship is, and then or where the wood burglars are, and then we respond accordingly as well. So that's just about it on the alarm. I'm sure from the name itself you can actually tell that it's just controlling access. For example, if you've got a certain area where you don't want it, you told me you can check to just walk in. We just uh, you install an alarm system. The latest uh, technology, the latest technology that is currently in the country is a biometric system whereby you put the fingertips on the finger in a system. So if you've got access, it will allow you, and if you don't have, it will reject. For example, you, you put everyone who's supposed to get access into that room, into the system, so they just put their finger, it's a fingerprint reader. Uh, so if I'm in the system, it opens the door. If I'm not, it rejects. The advantage is also beyond just access control is that you can then tell, for example, if it's a commercial or workplace, you can tell where it's reported for duty at what time. And then you can link the system to your payroll. So you, you know, it then, it then becomes real time, etc. We are also using this kind of system to deploy our guns, a security core, 
when they come in for duty, they just put in their thing and there. In real time, this because it's internet based also, it sends a signal to our control room and then we would know that Kuda is reported for duty. So we can then know that at your premises, the guard is reported for duty in real time. So that's the other advantage that these biometric systems have beyond access control. Yes. Do we have a, a price guideline to know how much basically this may cost? Strength for the, I'm sure for, for, for the small to medium enterprises, they this, the homeowners, they okay. want to know how much this will cost. This system will cost you beyond a thousand. It's really an affordable solution. Mm -hmm. So instead of having a guard station where you're paying something like 800 and something per month for a 24 hour, 12 hour guard mm -hmm. to, to control access in and out, you can simply just put this system, it is just a once of payment. Yes. So you can I'm sure you can calculate the cost benefit that you get from just putting an access control system just by the door. So instead of having a guard ticking, you, you report it for duty mode. Whoever is controlling will know that so and so is for duty, the door opens, the door in, it closes. So the cost benefits of this system is really huge. Yes. And then I'll also take you through to our CCTV close circuit TV, television. They come in different forms. We offer from the simplest way, only have probably just four fixed bullet cameras to have these cameras. These are high, you know, dome cameras. They can rotate 360, and you can see things beyond uh, five kilometers wow. from just one camera. These are very good cameras for installations for mining environments, mm -hmm. where by probably you just want to see what's happening in the perimeters. And you can just sit at zoom. Sit and zoom, take a closer look, take it back, but with just one camera. So you can see the range. Yes. So from this, you can also have probably a system that goes beyond 72 cameras, depending on the size of your premise and the areas that you would actually want to view. And all these systems can all be IP based, such that you can view them from anywhere in the world. For example, you've got a factory here in Zimbabwe, but you just want to see what's happening in real time and you're in America on holiday. You can just simply watch from your tablet, from your smartphone, from your laptop. Mm, interesting. Interesting. The main advantage, I think, of a CCTV system is that it acts as a deterrent, you know, beyond people that are coming from outside to try and steal from you or the internal people doing fraudulent business. So with this, you can actually watch them. You can watch what's going on. But the moment you just install cameras, I think half of the you know, the miscellaneous things that would be happening will stop because everyone would know that I'm being watched, so they'll just simply stop. I see you do have a, a recorder there. Yes. Do we have specifications of probably how much content uh, am I able to record over what time am I going to delete and how long okay. can it actually record? Yes, they come in, as you can see, these are all what we call DVRs, mm -hmm. um, small ones, big ones, and they come in different memory sizes. So just depending also on the size of your operation, depending on the customer preferences, if they want to, to record footage for maybe six months, you can get a bigger memory DVR. Or you can just have a small one depending on the size of your business. After some time, it then starts writing over. You can play back uh, as evidence really in court. For example, if something has happened, or you just want to watch what happened last night or the day before, mm -hmm. you can simply just play back and see from, from the recordings in the DVRs. Okay. Yeah. Again, with SMEs in mind, the lowest that you can actually offer to say if you're an SME, what's the entry level for such a system? Where we you are to actually to... currently holding a promotion for a four bullet. These are the four bullets, these kinds of cameras. These are fixed cameras, meaning that you cannot rotate them, as I was saying, with the dome cameras. Okay. They are just fixed, looking at a fixed uh, position, position for four cameras. And coming with the small DVRs, and we are charging that 1,100. Wow. So for small to medium enterprises, I'm sure this can be an option for them. Yes. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Right. So, so much to a conventional security company. Interesting. Yes, so much. Yes, I probably would say now, remember securities like technology. Mm -hmm. You know, things are just changing every second in the world mostly driven by that fact that everyone is now looking at how best can you continue your costs, how best can you become effective, and knowing that electronic systems are actually more effective than the human being, they don't sleep, they don't wander off, as long as you've put a camera there, it's watching 24-7, unless there's a fault, but it's really watching 24-7, if there's an alarm, if someone tries to walk in, you're able to just detect, and they come in cheaper. Do they work when 
it's dark at night. When it's dark, yes, they work because you can see they've got this infrared. So when there's no light, they just use infrared to capture images. Okay. So you are actually able to see and tell who that person is. If you know, you can tell movement, what's going on. Okay. So that's the other advantage of having such systems installed. Interesting. Interesting, isn't it? Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>